Like what you're seeing here, subscribe to this channel for more. What up guys, this is Monkey Figure Reviews and today I'm back with another Figures News Updates video. This time around we will be talking about the Bandai Spirits and Ben Presto figures that will be coming out all the way to March 2020 next year. So I originally wanted to include the Ichiban Kuji figures but I thought it would just be a bit too much. There's a total of two new series announced and quite a bit to go through, so I'll just do those in another video. Alright, for today, let's get started. Firstly, I just want to give a bit of updates on two figures we had previously touched on. First one is the Grand Line Man Wano Country Kinemon that will be coming out in December this year. So last time we only saw the uncolored prototype and now we have the official image from Ben Presto. He looks really good, looks really decent with the colouring on, uh, facial expressions on point, the colouring on the clothing is also very good. But the quality is just kind of the standard that we expect to see from Grand Line Man series. Um, just you know, nothing more, nothing less. Always been around there, just the figures posing. For me personally, I kind of prefer the clothing to be more realistic with the creases and the folds. But I guess with Grand Man series, usually they just go with a more smooth and clean style. This is also evident in the Zoro, Luffy and Law that we had previously seen for Wano Country. Okay, uh, we don't really get a lot of Kinemon figures, so if you are a fan of him, I think this is a great opportunity for you to get it. Next, we have Grantista Nami. And last time we only got the silhouette, so this time around we already have the official images as well. And it's confirmed we have her in the first post skate outfit, which is the bikini top and the jeans as the bottom. So I think I said this a couple of times, but I'm not a big fan of this outfit, especially when we had seen better ones since like Hoke Island. But I guess they are just going to do for Grantista, like, you know, the first outfits for everyone when they first appear um, post skate. Yeah, but it kind of got me sitting on the fence because... I'm still thinking whether or not I, I really like the outfit here. But if you ignore all of it, the body sculpt looks pretty good. It actually looks pretty good, better than Ace. Um, like the chest is not too big. The shapes for the shape for the body, the jeans, uh, the creases on the jeans. Not sure if, if there's shading, but it seems that there's a little bit around the knees area or it could be just the lighting. Alright, another thing is the face. I'm kind of unsure about the face, it seems a little bit off, but in this second picture from the side view, the side angle, she looks a lot better. So I'm not sure is, uh, is it because of the lighting that throws the shadow and the, around the nose that makes her look a bit off here, but this angle she looks a lot better and you can also see the lock pose on her wrist and also the shed, oh, sorry, the tattoo on the left arm, other details. Yeah, so I think if the outfit is not a problem for you, the figure seems to be pretty good. Yeah, but for me personally, I will just wait to see a real life prototype before I make a decision whether or not I want to order it. Let me know what you guys think. Next up, we have the King of Artists Luffy Wano Country that will also be coming out in December this year. And Personally, I'm not too sure of the height for this figure, so I can't be certain if they are following the older figures where they are more along the King of Artists, Master Star P scale, or they are going to do like a smaller figure of him. And I vaguely record seeing an image somewhere that says this is around 18 to 20 cm from the bottom to the top, but bear in mind that he's kind of you know, jumping and crouching, so could be of a bigger scale but I guess we won't really know until we see the real life prototype. Um, other than that, with the scale issues, I think he seems pretty good. The face seems a bit off for me, like the eyes are too small, but the hair looks great, the kimono looks really good with the creases, the pose is also very cool, like he's just jumping. The details on the short head looks great as well. This is another picture and you can see that he is most likely going to be supported with a supporting stand. And for me it's a big problem because I've always said 
I'm not a big fan of those supporting stands, supporting base because it's really ugly. But it's not a, if it's not an issue, then I don't think you will, you will have a problem with this figure. Yeah, and also if the scale is also not a problem, then I think it's a very creative pose and could be a great addition to your Wano collection. Next, we have One Piece Mania Sabo. And this is also coming out in December this year. Previously, we have uh, Luffy, we have Ace, and I guess they're gonna be doing the Brothers Trio. And finally, we have Sabo. He looks really good, if you ask me. Uh, the smile looks just really, really cheerful and happy. It makes you look happy just by looking at his face. The hair looks really nice. Outfit, everything looks pretty good too. These are some certain angles. He's holding a book. He's holding the ASL flag. Some other shots. Man, those hair looks amazing. Another angle. Some scratches on the back that he's carrying. This is the back view with more details. So I guess there's gonna be some Easter eggs again just as the Ace and Luffy figure. And I gotta say, when Luffy first came out, no one thought that they will be doing the Trio Brothers. You can see all of them here. And now that uh, now that we know that it's gonna be the three of them, it kind of adds collectible value to the whole set. You know, they would probably look really, really good together, just three of them hanging out and running. Uh, and I don't own the Luffy and Ace, but now I'm seriously considering get, getting all three of them. Next, we have the Treasure Cruise World Journey Volume 3 featuring Mihawk, Crocodile, and Hancock. And they will be coming out in January next year. So, Treasure Cruise World Journey Volume 1, we have Nami, Zoro, Luffy. Volume 2, we have Sanji and Reju. And Volume 3, they decided to go with some of the Warlords. Or ex warlords. Uh, so interestingly, all of them are kind of in kimonos. So I just jokingly said that in my community post, they are just jumping onto the Wano hype train, the Wano theme. And um, you know, actually, they look kind of cool, even though I said that. Like Mihawk here, he looks really solemn, serious, and kind of has a wandering samurai look. The sword. I'm not sure this sword if we have seen him holding it before, so most likely it's not canon. It's just kind of to suit the style he's, he's kind of pulled off here. This is Crocodile. Looks really, really cool too. As you can see, all of them are just in kimono, so like Japanese style outfit. He's holding an umbrella. Smoking as usual. And this is the one that I'm kind of eyeing for because I like Crocodile a lot and he looks badass. Lastly, we have Hancock, kind of a more simple outfit than what we usually see her in, but she still looks kind of amazing. I think if you put all the three, all three of them together with Mihawk on the left, Crocodile on the right, they will look pretty cool. Okay, so once again, I think we will just have to wait to see the prototypes in real life, and then we get a better angle, better angle of what we are going to get. Next, we have another entry in the Sweet Style Pirate series. This is Perona, and she will be coming out in February next year too. Uh, we have two versions. This is version A, this is version B. And previously for Sweet Style Pirates, we only have Nami, which is kind of her in her, a chopper theme outfit. Right, and this summer we have Perona in this, like, what's the thing that she, the, the, the little pet, kind of zombie pet thing that she has? So that's the theme with the design. For version B, it just seems that the blue parts of the costume is lighter and her hair is also a lighter shade of pink. On the lipstick changes as well. Yeah, for me, I'm, I'm kind of skipping this one because not a big fan of this series and this style. But really interesting to see what else they have in store for us. Maybe like Vivi? You know, looking like the duck, the duck friend, or you know, plen plenty of cool, um, creative choices they can make when it comes to this series in the future. 
Next is GNG Glitter and Glamour's Wano Kuni style Nami that will also be coming out in February next year. So this is interesting because this is Nami in her Canon outfit. Once again, we have two versions. This is version A, which is the Canon version, and this is version B, with uh, like a darker kind of outfit, ninja outfit. I gotta say that this looks really, really good. Uh, the face and everything looks really nice. Her chest looks a bit too big though. Her legs looks really, really long. I think that's partly because of how short this is. It just makes this look crazy long. And yeah, I think overall she just looks really nice and usually Glitter and Glamours, they have a pretty good and consistent standard. Not, no shading from what I know, not a lot of creases. These are some real life shots. Obviously, when we get the real product, um, they're gonna be a lot of like creases. Sorry, not creases. Um, seam lines along the legs and arms. Usually, we get that. So it won't be as perfect as this. But looking at their face, is really good. One of the better faces. Now this is interesting. Also, this is Better Record Collection Sanji, coming out. In February too. Um, I'm not sure what this series is about because this is the first entry for the Better Record Collection. So they might be doing figures with them in, in their fighting pose, but it will be similar to Figure Coliseum, like the old Figure Coliseum. And it's really interesting what kind of figures they will continue to do from this series. But this Sanji figure looks really good. Honestly, he looks really good. Um, you get the flames. You get those nice little shading across the flames and all the way to his leg. For his body himself, even the creases look to be really, really well done. The hair looks amazing. Face looks pretty good as well. Better than some of the other ones that we have seen, I think, because we get the flames. Like BWFC and also the earlier figure Coliseum. This is a real life shot. So you can see the details over here on his suit are all pretty pronounced, well pronounced and looks pretty decently sized too. So I think this is really interesting. I think most people will be looking to get this one provided that they uphold the quality from prototype to actual product. Let me know what you guys think about this new series, Better Record Collection, and maybe what you think you want them to do next. Now, this is BWFC special release, Luffy Taro, coming out in February too. Uh, so, I guess once every year they're gonna do like a figure that is considered special from the Figure Coliseum series uh, or the BWFC in the recent couple of years. And this time around, we just kind of have Luffy staring and pointing at something. I kind of think that this is out from a scene in the manga from the anime, but I cannot remember the exact moment. But this is this is very uh, very cool. The details seems to be very good to the muscles, well sculpted, the scar expression, pretty on point, and the details on. His kimono also seems to be really good. This is a real life shot, a little bit blur, but you can see overall there's a joint, there's a seam line here. Is it obvious here? Yeah, it's also obvious there. But there's a seam line here, seam line here, um, but you can see shading on the body and the kimono. And has a potential, I think, to be a pretty great figure. Because it's interesting and I think the details wise is also very good. Next we have another GNG Glitter and Glamour's Wano Kuni style Nico Robin. So this is I believe announced the same time as the GNG Wano Nami. In fact I think this is the same photo as the rest the previous two photos we have seen all of them together. And this is not canon because we have not seen Robin in this supposed ninja outfit but once again I think they are just trying their best to milk the Wano hype 
the Wano theme, so they decided to do one for Robin. This is version B in the red color, and this is like purplish for version A. Um, I have no problems with it because I'm a big fan of Robin, so <laughs> probably get this one. But I believe down the line, they'll probably do a canon version of her, which is Geisha Robin, and also do a Geisha Nami as well. Okay? So, let me know what you guys think. I think the angle for this makes her face look really, really weird and tiny. So, probably gonna see more photos next time. Could be the shadowing from the light thrown onto this photo that just gives her that look. Last but not least, this is the one that I am most excited about. This is the Grantista Luffy Nero version. And I have no idea when this will be coming out. Some sources state it comes out in February, but looking at how stacked it is, it is very unlikely. I've seen another site that says it comes out in April, and I think that is more possible. Alright, um, and this this Grantista Luffy Nero version is amazing because we have three different faces, three different arms slash accessories that you can choose to display him with so lots of choices uh, and to be honest all the faces are really well done I think this is like a very cute style of Luffy very nice and this is him just drooling star eyes with the mark and this is just him chewing on his favorite meat so really cool that they're going to do they're going to do all this like uh, exchangeable alternative parts again Granted that apparently this is more expensive, depends on where you live I guess. For me it's about twice the normal Grantista price. Slightly lesser than Chiban Kuji. But given what we have here, what we see here, I think they are all really amazing. And I wouldn't mind paying for it, even though I have the first Grantista Luffy. These are some other you know, full body shots for the meat version and the star eyes version. And I think from, you know, from the body down here, it seems like it is exactly the same as the first Grandista Luffy. And I'm wondering if it's possible to, you know, change the face or put a head onto the first Grandista body. I think that would be really, really cool if they designed that way. And I also love the star eyes, this drooling star eyes. Usually Luffy has this expression when he's looking at something cool like the robots or Frankie or something. And I think no one really expected this. This this one with the meat, yeah, you know, because he's always eating, he loves meat. But this one is kind of like a surprise, which is really good. Okay, and um, that's all I have, guys, for this video. So let me know what you guys think of these figures. I'll be doing one, like I said, for the Ichiban Kuji series. Stay tuned for that. Thank you, guys. I'll see you guys very soon. Goodbye.